Oh, hey. Sorry, I was looking at my dog. She's now hovering by the door. She was sleeping, and that is why I set up things out here. Now it seems kind of silly. Not really in the mood to move it back <laughs> to where I usually do these, so here you have it. All right, so this is not an episode. This is more of a teaser, I guess you could call it. It's a teaser about what is to come, all right? I'm gonna be introducing my husband, who you guys will all like way more than me because he's just the coolest guy on the planet. And um, it's I, we're, we're still working out names and how this is gonna work, kind of meshing him into my weird stuff. But, um, you know, it's kind of like, what's that all about meets Skimmer Outdoors. I'll have to work on some kind of a logo for him or something that he'll like. But um, hopefully it's it's going to be sort of like um, a little bit of, a little bit of something for everybody, you know, and whether you like to listen to me rattle off stuff about, you know, UFOs and weird stuff out there in the world and in the universe and all that. Great. And then maybe for those of you who really like other stuff that's like how to fix something or dirt bike re rebuilds and maintenance. <laughs> and I'm going to show you some stuff that Dave's kind of massively skilled at now. And um, it's like ever since we moved to um, Idaho from the East Coast, he has like, it's crazy. So many of you know already that I am obviously married to a man named Dave. Okay. I call him Dave. Actually, I call him Cub. And I'm his little cup, <laughs> but um, don't know why I shared that. So he's actually by trade, he's a merchant marine. So he is like currently on a research vessel, okay, up in Alaska. And he's also though been I, there's gonna be a lot of like slash slash this slash that. So he's a merchant marine slash commercial fisherman, which he did for over 20 years. Uh, dirt bike rider, which he's been doing a good chunk of his life as well. He's a thrill seeker, which I hate, of course, but he loves and I love him. So therefore I tolerate and just smile and go, okay, be careful. <laughs> and sometimes you even will catch me watching him do these God awful, terrifying things. But anyway, you know, he's a lot braver than I am. Anyway, I married him. I guess that's kind of brave. Now he's also, I like, pseudo star because he was on one of discovery channels first um like reality fishing shows and i don't know it's you gotta go way back for it but it was called lobster wars and he was on a ship called um the dragon lady out of point judith rhode island i don't know if anybody's ever even heard of that out there because I know Rhode Island can sometimes not be distinguished as its own state. It kind of gets like clumped into New York, but it really is its own state. It's the smallest one, but it's there for now until it gets kicked into the ocean. Um, he also is the best doggy dad in the world. I can't even say D-A-D-D-Y because the P-U-P-P-Y will go M-E-N-T-A-L. She loves him to pieces, and he is so awesome with her. Um, and he's a gun enthusiast, but not crazy. He's not a cuckoo bird. He's, like, um, super safe, and he's just really enthusiastic, and he's actually become quite the marksman, I like to tell you. And, and finally, he's just a world-class husband. Like, we got real lucky. You know, we're kind of a strange little couple. We're very different on OCD, but he's a really clean guy, which is very unusual. And when you see pictures that I'm about to show you of the um, shop that he has, it's insane how well, like, organized everything is, which, of course, that, like, organization is, like, to the filthy man's porn. Like, I love organization. My clothes are usually organized by color. You know, I do the same thing to his stuff. He doesn't even care, you know, it's great. Like he lets me be, you know, so it works out great. So I'm gonna show you a, um, a clip. I think it's either playing or whatever. And um, I'm showing you these, for the uh, before and after of what he was like 
was in his brain. He thinks of things that I would never have thought. So if you're looking at the shop now and there's um, the walls that you're seeing started off as metal. Okay, clearly it's a metal shed, not shed, shop. Oh my God, shop. If I call it a garage, trust me, the pillars of hell shake. He's like, it's kind of a shop, hon. I'm like, oh, right, yeah, of course you're right. I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> to shop. Anyway, do you sell stuff in it? <laughs> I digress, which I do a lot, as you know. Okay. Anyway, so I'm showing you what it looked like before and then what it looked like after. Now, the wood, I think it's called soft, some soft, soft pine wood. That initially was supposed to be our fencing for our yard because we have five acres here out in Idaho. It, which is like nothing, <laughs> but still, it was supposed to be the beginning of our um, fencing to keep the, cause they have free range cows here and everything. They have like, they just will like go right by the window. It's hysterical. I woke up one morning and I'm like, I look out the window and I get a, you know, moo and I'm like, oh God, I can't even leave the house. Well, I can't let the dog out cause she'll just bark. And actually though, she doesn't really bark at them anymore. I think she's finally getting used to them. When we drive through a cattle drive, oh my God, it's hysterical. Anyway, which happened more than traffic jams. We don't, you know, when you see five cars a week, it, you're not going to have a traffic jam. You're just going to have cattle and antelope, lots of antelope. <laughs> anyway, so he went ahead and figured out a way. He had never done anything like this before. He figured out how to put that pine up across the whole entire shop and look at it. People who see it now, like I just had an, a, a roof issue the other day, it, brand new house, right? It's like, if this were a, like, if you're aging a house as a person, this is a um, newborn, literally. But anyway, I had a roof issue. So a guy came out Sunday of the Hollywood, of the Hollywood, of the um, holiday weekend. And he saw it and he was like, ha. Huh gobsmacked. He's just like, this is awesome. I'm like, yeah, my husband figured out a way to do it and he did it. He's amazing. L right? Look at that shit. It's not too freaking shabby if you ask me. Now, um, I'm going to sort of try and show you some pictures of him so you get a vibe for who he is. He's definitely the lower key of the two of us. I am the like, ah, one. Um, <laughs> and he's definitely the more reserved. He is an observer more than anything else. I mean, I observe, but I'm more vocal about my observations. He is like a watcher. He is like, um, he can read people really well. And when he has a, like a bullshitometer that is amazing, it's creepy how like spot on he is about people and their true kind of like selves before they even reveal themselves. He can sort of tell. Yeah. Anyway, so. I'm going to show you a movie. I think I actually already am probably showing you stuff about him, clips about him. Um, and like all we have when we moved out here really to start with was this little tractor that could. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, he has done more. He's like, move, I'm showing you pictures. He's moved rocks. He's um, uh, cut down all the brush around our house. He doesn't even have a brush cutter people, he got this attachment to move snow. And instead he is, he used it to cut all the brush down around our house, which we had to do for insurance purposes anyway. But can you imagine he's out there? I think I have a picture of it. I think I have a picture of him out there. I think the dog's watching him. I don't know where these pictures are going to be. <laughs> I'm going to try and get him to line up, but I made like little movie clips just to like show you more than just like going blah, blah, blah. Instead, it like runs like a little, like a movie clip. Anyway, now what we're hoping to do is, yeah, like I said, merge our like uh, skill sets, right? So mine is obviously talking. <laughs> Mine's obviously talking and um, exploring my weird stuff and, and cool stuff that's universally kind of popular, okay? His stuff's really universally popular too, because he knows how to do a bunch of shit now that he never knew how to do. And he kept saying to himself, like, actually he would say to me, he'd say, you know, I didn't know how to do this. I wonder if somebody else would like want to know how to do this. He's like, I, cause he YouTubes 
everything to learn, right? He doesn't know how to, he never knew how to plumb. He never knew anything about electrical. He never knew anything about putting up a goddamn wall <laughs> of stuff that was supposed to be used as a fence. And uh, he learned all of that by watching YouTube. It's fascinating. And he, you know, can do stuff that I think people out there would really enjoy watching. So I told him, I said, let's get a GoPro because we are so in the dark ages when it comes to technology. Well, you see, I don't have sophisticated videos. Like I'm not all special effects and everything. I mean, I put up silly pictures and, and that kind of stuff, mostly because I, I mean, those are easy. They're just inserting, editing, you know, but um, I was over the moon when I learned how to put music to my videos. I don't even put it in all of them. Sometimes I feel like sometimes the videos are too long and I don't want to keep like clogging up space because my laptop works. You, I've told you, it's like, I think it's possessed by some sort of rotten laptop demon. But anyway, um, so we're going to try and merge this stuff and we're going to get a GoPro and he's going to take you out like into the trails, into the backcountry trails with his dirt bike and shit. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be off the chain. And I can't believe I just said off the chain. I'm 48 years old and I just said off the fucking chain. God, I, I don't think I'm ever going to grow up, but I think that's okay. I think, I don't know. One of these days I just won't be here anymore and it'll be like, well, she never grew up. Big deal. If that's what I'm known for, fine. Um, so anyway, this is going to be a lot of fun, but I still got to wait for him to get back from his hitch. And this hitch was long, 10 weeks. That's a long time. So he's going to be back soon and very soon, actually. And um, we are going to devise a plan. I'm going to come up with something really great and he's going to come up with some ideas and we're going to really figure some shit out. And I think you guys are going to like it. And if you have any ideas that you want to share with us or stuff you want to see, I mean, on my side of the house, if you have any weird ideas about topics that you want me to cover, um, I love, as I've told you in the past, not that you remember, but I have, I love research. So I, I do, I like learning. I'm like a little sponge and I'm, I'm still childlike like that. I really, I have that wonder. I love to learn new things, but um, I'm going to put my email address up on the screen somewhere and I'll also put it in the description. And um, so there, you can just send me an email if you want. I don't care. I'm not, you know, an, an email is nothing. I'm, I'm not too worried about sharing an email because I do think it's actually on my YouTube channel. I think. I think that's kind of public stuff. But anyway, um, but I wanted to send this out as a teaser just to get you guys kind of like your wheels spinning and thinking, this could be cool. This could be cool. Let's like, let's let it go and see where it kind of takes us. Um, I have something coming up after this video. I'm, I'm going to, um, still finishing, um, putting the finishing touches on it. It's a two part series. Okay. I know that, um, I just did the MK ultra episode and I thought, okay, well, that was a really, that was kind of a like, wow episode to me. I really kind of tripped me out. Well, if you remember back when I told you about um, ACIO, if you remember, I have, when I publish my next videos, you'll see what I mean and I'll reference what episodes that I'm talking about. But I, um, I mean, maybe you'll remember Peter the Insider. I don't know, I mentioned a lot of stuff. But the MK Ultra legacy continues. Okay. And I have two parts to share with you. Just keep your mind open. It's about the super soldiers and the program that recruited them from the time in some instances from birth. So, uh, ugh, stay tuned for that coming very soon, probably this weekend. And, um, until then, I hope you are staying happy and healthy and let's say stay weird like me and um, take care and I will see you soon. Bye.